Well, first thing I'm going to say is this. How about them Kennesaw State fight nows? Man, I am so proud of this group, um, who they've become, what they're about, but more importantly, how they respond to adversity and even how they respond to success. Um, that was a fun basketball game out there today, man. It gets no better than that. And like I told these guys in the locker room, man, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to sit up here and let them feel sorry for themselves because we've said it all year. We're not going to let what people on the outside of our circle say success may be. We're not going to let anybody define success for us. These guys are successful. They're winners because they decided to love one another and commit to a common goal. So, man, I couldn't be more proud of this group. Questions? Again, raise your hand. Let us know who you're with. Wait for the handheld mic and uh, let us know who you're affiliated with. First question, middle of the room. All right, Kai Millett, KSU Sentinel. Um, Alex and Spencer, both of you guys being seniors who decided to transfer into Kennesaw State a few years back, um, just take a second to reflect on what Kennesaw State has meant to you guys and uh, the three guys next to you and what they've meant to you. Alex. Uh, you. Uh, uh, yeah. all right. um, for me, I think that uh, Kennesaw State has been like a, a very much like a pillar in my life. I build friendships and relationships here with my teammates and the coaching staff that I feel like will last forever. And I think, you know, when I came in, I had a lot more growing to do, not only as a player, but just as a, a man in general. And I feel like Kennesaw State helped me grow up and helped me become um, the person that I needed to be to tackle life uh, outside of basketball or just within basketball. Um, the, the four guys next to me, you know, they mean a lot to me, um, regardless of basketball, just, you know, as people. I love them as people. And they got me for life. Spencer? Um, Kennesaw State, it's been, it's been everything to me. I came here three years ago. Uh, when I came in, I was a quiet guy. Uh, had trouble, you know, building a relationship with these guys. But over the, over the years, we've just grown so close. And, um, I mean, they just mean everything to me. Each, everybody on the team is a brother to me. Um, I love the practices. I love going to eat in the cafeteria. It's just all those things that just accumulate, and they just mean so much to me. And, uh, I mean, all these guys, they, I love them. I love them for life, coaches, everybody, managers. I mean, they just mean everything to me. So for us to be able to, you know, finish, or for me to finish my career out here uh, with these guys, man, I, I can't ask for anything more. Okay, next question to our left on the aisle. David Hale, ESPN. Uh, Terrell, uh, um, four years ago, you were a part of a team that won one game and today you were a few seconds away from knocking off the number three seed in the NCAA tournament. Can you put into context the journey that this has been and what, what it's been like for you to kind of see not just you grow up, but the program? Oh. So um, being when I got here, I was kind of like Spence. I wasn't as quiet, but I was a little quiet. Uh, I was an introvert when I first got here, just being young. But um, throughout the game and throughout the process of these four years, man, I've just learned so much about life and embracing journey. Being at that first year, I tore my ACL. I had to learn how to respond quickly, and I had to learn how to respond and put everything I have into my teammates. Um, it's, been a, it's been one of a kind for me as in uh, road, because when you're injured or when things aren't going well for you, you know, people on the outside, they start to say things and stuff like that. But I've never been a believer in that. I, I've always been a believer. God don't put you nowhere that you're not supposed to be. So being that uh, I was blessed to be in this position right here and be with these group of guys throughout the years, man, I can't ask for anything more, if I'm be honest with you. Uh, being that um, we here right now today, man, I'm so, I'm so happy. You always dream of something like this when you're watching March Madness growing up as a kid in college and uh, you want to be in college and stuff. So. Being that we came from 1 and 28, and as the years grow on, you start to see growth, not in just me, but just throughout each and every person. Like, I can go online and tell you a fun fact about all my teammates, man. That's how much I, I bought in and I know them. So this was a great experience for us this year, and uh, I know we'll be back. Sure. To our right, third row. Chris Fifflemore from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Coach, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you a 13-point lead that you weren't able to hold. Did they do something? Did you stop doing something? Um, and does that make it sting a little bit more? 
No, nah, that's just the game, man. Basketball is a game of runs. Um, and, and in March, you're not playing a bad team, right? Uh, we did some things early uh, on both ends of the court that helped build that 13-point lead. But if anybody in that building, uh, you know, thought that was like going to be how the game stayed, uh, you hadn't watched much basketball in March, and uh, you know, <laughs> you just probably hadn't much, watched much basketball in general. Um, and the second part of your question, it doesn't sting, right? Um, man, when you put your heart and soul into something, um, there's going to be disappointment here and there. But like I said to you guys before, man, we teach life through this game. And for us, it's not what happens, but how we respond. This is not going to be a one-off thing for us. We plan to be here, like Terrell said, we plan to be here year in and year out. So where somebody might say it stings, I see growth. I see uh, uh, opportunity to get better, not only as a coach, but an opportunity to help my players grow. So, you know, we, we, you know we've been on the right side of it a lot this year. Today wasn't our day. We're going to just continue to respond. Middle of the room. Riley Davis, field of 68. Coach, as you were leaving the court, it looked like you were saying chin up to the, uh, the Owls faithful that were out here. Can you speak some about just the, what that fan support meant to you and anything else you'd want them to know? Yeah, it meant a ton. Um, that was a home game for us, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, man, I, I was, man, I was really proud of our support. And you got to understand, man, four years ago, guys, we had 350 people in our stands and half of them were friends and family. So for our nation to show up and show out like they did today, um, just like I don't want the boys to hang their heads, I'm not going to allow them to hang their heads, right? Because where we came from, nobody expected us to be here, right? Nobody expected, even this year, nobody expected us to be sitting here today on March 17th talking to you guys, right? But I want them to keep their chins up for another reason too, because if we plan on being here year in, year out, I don't want people to uh, lose the, the gratefulness that comes with being a part of Kennesaw, Kennesaw State. I want them to be grateful when we have these opportunities because it's rare, it's special, right? And I want them to remember what it feels like, not the disappointment. Man, these guys gave everything they could for this university today. They left everything they had on the court. What's there to hang your head about? Fourth row right in front of me. Um, Coach, this is Caleb from KSU on Sentinel. It's obviously a tough ending for KSU, um, but this is one of the greatest years in um, Kennesaw history. Is this, is, is this um, the, beginning of, the beginning of something huge for Kennesaw in the upcoming years? That's a great question. Uh, and with all due respect, the beginning was four years ago. We're here today, man, because... Whew, I'm in there talking to you, and I'm over here tripping. Uh, the beginning was four years ago. And uh, <clears throat> these are uh, tears of joy, man, because we made a commitment to this university. We made a commitment to these guys sitting next to me, man, that we were going to show up every day for them. And when you get to a place like this, again, these are tears of joy. Because it takes a special group of people to commit to something and stay to see that vision through. So. The beginning was four years ago, but you better believe this is our standard. This is our expectation. And we'll be back. Um, Chris, since you haven't spoken yet, uh, tell me how you will remember the 2023 Kennesaw State Owls. Man, it's probably one of my favorite seasons I've been a part of in my lifetime, man, because of the relationships I, I built throughout the season with these, my brothers right here and the brothers in the locker room, Man, it would never be forgotten, man. So, his man, sting. I mean, coach said it shouldn't sting, but like you would want to go further in the tournament like this because it was more than capable. But it's just, it's not a regret because man, we gave it our all. So it's definitely something to remember.
Last question. Sorry, I know it doesn't come down to one play, but the, the, the drive uh, by Terrell, was that kind of the play that you guys had set to run and you surprised you got men at the rim there, Terrell? Uh, yeah, it was definitely designed that way. Um, we didn't get the result we wanted, but that was a great play on, uh, on I think it was Nungy. Nungy. Yeah, it was a great play by him to meet me at the rim. And um, although it didn't end the way I would have liked it to end, it's a learning experience for me. And I take it as a as an opportunity to for next time because it's going to be another moment where I, I can get another chance to drive to the paint. And this time or the next time, hopefully I learn from my mistakes and I execute. But I can't ask for it to end anyway, if I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Being that uh, I wanted to win, I feel like this is this is part of the learning experience that I not only I have to to go through, but we as a program have to go through to learn how to sustain wins like this. And so uh, it might hurt as of right now, but I got we gotta let it go and we gotta just man, we just blessed to be in this position. We we we've said it a couple times we're gonna be back, but we stand on that like we stand firm on that. So whatever it takes, we know. Okay, thanks guys. Congratulations on a great year. Thank you.